been driven into their head since grade school that alcohol and driving don't mix, but we consistently see a kind of callous disregard when it comes to drug use. They will do things they would not normally do. They're going to start taking more chances. They're going to go a little faster. They think they can handle it. It affects your ability to make decisions and to perceive danger. They were drag racing at high speeds. Most of your body functions you can't control. Your reflexes are not that or high. You might think they are, but they're not. It's a recipe for disaster. They don't consider that I can end up in a cemetery. Or even worse, I can kill somebody else. They may face assault charges, they may face homicide by vehicle charges. It's sad, you know, every day I think about it. Why does somebody so innocent get their life taken away from them so young? My name is Hunter Stewart. I'm going into third grade and I'm eight years old. My team to cure is to help the scientists find a cure for breast cancer. Every lab I finish, I donate money. My name is Alicia Stewart. I was diagnosed with breast cancer about a year and a month ago. It made me scared because I thought she was going to die. I think that's where he started thinking, hey, what can I do? He is a real hands-on kid, and he wanted to become involved. Um, my goal is to raise $20,000. But it doesn't mean once he gets to 20000 he wants to stop. I mean, he wants to go until there's a cure. When I was in the relationship, I didn't know what the signs were. I didn't know that him calling me stupid was only the beginning of an abusive relationship. I cried for hours on end because of the things he said to me. He'd get, you know, verbally abusive and then he'd get physically abusive. I knew that I was in a relationship that wasn't normal, like it wasn't supposed to be this way. Since I'd never been in a relationship, I didn't really know what to expect. I just kind of rationalize in my mind that, you know, things will get better. I gave up school for him. I gave all my money. I gave up my virginity. I gave up everything. I mean, it was supposed to be love. It was supposed to be everything that's involved with love. It hurts too, because I trusted him. And I, I did it foolishly, but I did trust him with my safety, you know? I never thought anyone would do that to me. Here in Death Valley National Park, we're going to be planting plants in Texas Springs. And help the rangers to measure the plants and just writing down information. And then in like the next few years, another group will come back and do the same thing. And they'll say what has changed between the time we are here and the time when they will come. Shrubs is a partnership between the National Park Service and a local fifth grade elementary class. Shrubs stands for Students Helping Restore Unique Biomes. These are fifth grade kids who became aware of a problem in our national park, which is that a lot of areas here are damaged and they decided that they wanted to do something about it. They wanted to take action and take responsibility for being good stewards of this area. Responsibility means trusting in yourself and just knowing that you're doing the best you can. Being able to do what you're told to do 
you take care of something that, and you know it's right to. To do the right thing and to always do the right thing. We should really start recycling, using solar energy, and a lot of other things. If every kid in the world did one little good deed, it would turn into one big good deed. I think the kids could be responsible. They could do it. They, they're just as equal as everyone else and every grown up. If each person just helps a little bit, then it'll make a huge difference in the environment. Be flexible and be open to whatever's gonna happen. Relax, do the job, and remember to take a breath. The skills you learn while working at your first job can help to make you a more valuable employee for your next job and your future career. Lauren is a great employee here at the nursery. It's the fact, her enthusiasm. She's great with people. She has good communication skills. It's important communicating with my coworkers so things don't get done twice and they're done correctly. When it comes to working with my bosses, I need to make sure I get all the information because many flowers need different care and if it's not communicated right then the job has to be done again. I think the thing that makes Brian Cropper a good leader is his ability to personalize the experience for the kid. He takes the time to know what it is that their parents are hoping for him to get out of a summer and Brian is the, is the type of guy that has that attention to detail.